tradition of commissioning new Navy vessels is as old as our country. The U.S. Navy commissioned the first ship of the Continental Navy in 1775, and now the USS Carl Levin enters service with much fanfare at the Port of Baltimore. From the days the Clipper ships traversing the high seas during the Revolutionary War to propelling the mighty British Navy right over there at Fort McHenry to forging the steel and building the ships that won the war in the Pacific. Our city's legacy has been long intertwined with the Navy's legacy. The USS Carl Levin is the 51st Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyer delivered to the Navy. These ships are considered the backbone of the Navy's surface fleet and are the most high tech in history. The USS Carl Levin is outfitted with a state of the art weapon system, giving it the ability to take out threats in the air, on the water, or even under the sea. This ship in front of you will sail the high seas for the United States of America for the next four decades. We, you know, have a lot of geopolitical things going on in our in our seas and especially out in the pack and our destroyers are kind of the, uh, the heartbeat of the Navy. They're the, the biggest class that we have of warships and um, glad we're continuing to make them. And what does it feel like seeing it out here today? Pretty awesome. Yeah, it's great. It's always good to see stuff you work on in person. We, at headquarters, we work, you know, in an office building at desks every day and just cubicles and we don't, a lot of us engineers don't get to see and be on ships. So it's really nice to come out and see it in person, see what we do. This modern marvel is named for the late Senator Carl Levin, Michigan's longest serving senator. During his 36 year Senate career, Levin was the chair of the Senate Armed Services Committee. He survived to attend the keel laying in 2019, but passed away in 2021. His three daughters sponsored the commissioning to honor their father. Thousands turned out to witness the pomp and circumstance. What does it mean to you as a member of the military to see this? I love it. I love it. You know, it shows our firepower. It shows our ability to make such an awesome machine to help us doing war. And it's just an awesome patriotic thing to do. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. Um, I think it, it's, it's a patriotic moment. Um, and I love standing around and not only looking at the ship, but also looking at the families about to send their young men and women uh, around the world to defend us. The highlight of a commissioning ceremony is when the crew officially boards for the first time. Officers and crew of the USS Carl M. Levin man our ship and bring her to life. Then, the colors and the standard are raised. This ceremony is not just for the crew, but for their families as well. They get to show off what they've been doing uh, to their family, and something I always tell my students and, and people that I serve with is we have to bring our families into our life uh, to help them understand the sacrifices that the military makes. For the most part, it was a very rainy, soggy day for the commissioning, but the USS Carl Levin is now headed to a sunny new home. After all these folks get a tour, they're going to head out through the Chesapeake Bay to the Panama Canal and then all the way to Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. For Chesapeake Bay Media, I'm Jennifer Gladstone.